Hello class. Today we will discuss about geosynthetics. So first of all we have to understand what is geo and what is synthetics. Geo means improvement of the properties and synthetics means man-made or artificial. Today we will discuss about the type of the geosynthetics and its application in details. First one is geotextiles, geogrids, geonets, geomembranes, geosynthetic clay liner, geocells, geoform, geocomposites. First one, geotextiles. This is the permeable textile used with the foundation soil, rock, earth or any other geotechnical engineering related material as a part of human made, artificial, man made project structure or any system. If we talk about the characteristics of the geotextile, this is the porous and allowed to what flow of water through it. So these are the uh, woven type or no, non woven type and available in rolls in 5.6 meter wide and 50 to 150 meter long. It composed of polymers. <clears throat> like polyester if we talk about function of geotextiles so there is a main function of geotextile is separations we can use in as a reinforcement filtration drainage so this picture shows that a woven type geotextile this is the non woven type geotextiles woven type geotextiles this is the uniform and regular interweaving of threads in two directions regular visible construction pattern if we talk about the function of the geotextile this we can we can uh, apply as a soil separation reinforcement load distribution filtration drainage it have high tensile strength and relatively low strain in woven geotextile this figure shows woven geotextiles you can see in picture the different type of the material we can use woven geotextiles if we talk about non woven type geotextile formed by heat bonding resin bonding or needle punching no visible thread pattern if we talk about function of non woven geotextile we can use as a seo uh, sep soil separation stabilization of soil we can use uh, proper load distribution but there is a limitations of the non woven geotextile that we cannot use as a reinforcement like woven geotextiles picture shows non woven type geotextiles geogrids geogrids uh, we can use geogrids as a reinforcement and has about 2 percentage of low strain strength is more that other common com compared to other common geotextiles if we talk about function this this is the uh, if we talk about the function of the geogrids the main function is reinforcement we can use as a reinforcement in soil mass with using geogrids it and has interaction between soil and aggregates you can see in picture geogrid this is the you can see that uh, structure of the geogrids is like a still reinforcement you can see geogrids different type of the geogrids we can use in soil mass this figure shows also geogrids you can see here figure geogrids How geogrid improve the durability of the road? If uh, we talk about the payment, so if we are applying moving load like wheel load, so there is a deformation of the payment is like this. But if we placed geogrid in payment like this pattern, so we can say that we can get benefit that there is there will be. Uh, equally distributed moving load through payment you can see that this is the benefit we can get 
after using the geo grid as a reinforcement use of the geo grid for the soil reinforcement like geo grid this figure shows this figure shows also geo grid this is the geo grid you can see here use of the geo grid in grasslands you can see in picture layers uh, this is the surface layer this is the base layer and this is the geo grid layer so we have to place the geo grid below the base of the pavement so we can get benefit from the geo grid and there will be uh, transfer the equal equally loaded uh, coming from a vehicle load or moving load or others geo nets if we talk about geo nets so main function of geo nets is a drainage we can use as a drainage purpose so it has high tensile strength it has high tensile strength of geo nets and geo nets are also planar in products and consist of ribs in two direction you can see in picture that there is a ribs in two direction are also known and geo nets is also known as a geo spacers and two layers of the stands are called biplanar and three layers are called triplanar so we can use this kind of the geo synthetic in two layers as well as in three layers this is the two layer you can see in the picture this is the two layer and this is the three layer so this is the geo synthetic we can use in soil mass if we talk about the application first one is a erosion control and second one is a drainage layer so this is the application of geo nets fourth one is a geo membranes geo membranes means layer impermeable layer means we can use as a barrier of the layer geo membrane is very low permeability synthetic member membrane barrier used to control fluid in structure so this is the geo membrane we can use as a barrier layer thickness of impervious plastic sheet is generally 0.5 mm to 3 mm approximately used as the fluid barrier in designing drainage system used as a dam proof course in floors and a roof so geo membrane used in agriculture ponds you can see in the picture this is the geo membrane this is the geo membrane layer placed over the agriculture pond canal lining this is the canal and this is the geo membrane this is the geo membrane and we can placed impervious layer so we can get a benefit from the this kind of the geo synthetic and tunnel lining for moisture protection so this is the you can see in the picture this is the geo membrane we can use in tunnel lining also so this is the impervious layer and geo synthetic clay liner geo synthetic clay liner is a one kind of the layer we can place over the soil mass and this is the woven fabric like material combination of geo textile and geo membrane used as a barrier of liquid or solid waste applied below and below the geo membrane layer in landfills and provide the sub base supports so this is the geo synthetic clay liner you can see in the picture that uh, he is providing a geo liner on the soil slope geo cells if we talk about the geo cells so this is the three dimensional geo synthetic and uh, you can see here the geo cells we can use in three dimensional if we talk about characteristic similar to the geotextile or geogrid 
geogrids but have depth it means this is the three dimensional geosynthetic and provide both visible physical containment of depth of the soil and transfer the load through allow and allow the water through it and use in slope with soft subgrade so this is the geo cells three dimensional geosynthetic material made of the strip of polymer sheets use of geo cells in erosion control you can see here is providing the geo cell over the soil mass this is the soil mass is covered by geo cell you can see here this is the geo cell and after the providing of the geo cell you can fill the different type of the material geoforms geoforms is a light weight block light weight block polymeric expansion process and they are large but extremely light material with gas fit and if we talk about main function of geoform separation lightweight fills compressible inclusions thermal insulations so we can use geoforms in different type of the function this is the geo forms we have we can use in soil improvement within the soil embankment built over the soft or weak soil under the roads we can apply under the roads air field pavements and railway tracks system subjected to excessive uh, freeze through conditions or we can apply thermal insulation storage tank containing cold liquids as a separation as a lightweight field as a compressible inclusions so we can use uh, geo forms if we talk about the application of the geo synthetics so there are many uses of geo synthetic like improve improving of ground stabilization in pavements like roads parking bays runways for bearing vehicle loads heavy duty pavements ports and harbors we can apply in railways we can apply in erosion control we can use in retaining wall and bridge embankment and most important for the building foundation improvements so these are the main function of the geo synthetic if we uh, talk about the function of the geo synthetic uh, we will discuss in detail so first one is a separation function and drainage function so you can see in the picture this is the coarse grain soil this is the soft clay soil so there is a different type of the soil and we can place the geo synthetic material between the two different materials so we can we can get we we can uh, we can use the as a uh, separation material we can use as a separation material like coarse grain soil or soft grain soil filtration function so we can use as a filtration function also so there is a different kind of the material this is the hard rock or gravel material so there is a we can place as a geotextile here and we can get seepage barrier or filter function filtration function also so we can get also benefit from using of a geosynthetic reinforcement function uh, we know that uh, there is a difference between pcc and rcc what is pcc plain cement concrete and what is rcc reinforced cement concrete why we are using rcc because rcc has a reinforcement also so rcc has uh, uh, great in compression as well as in tension so we can use in soil mass also or we can use reinforcement in soil mass also so this is also one kind of the improvement you can see here we can provide reinforcement in soil mass and we can get improvement of the soil mass so geosynthetic means improvement of the soil mass improvement of the 
soil mass and art with artificial it may, which means geosynthetics use of geosynthetic in earth retention technique you can see here the slope are stabled by geosynthetics a retaining wall rcc wall these slopes are protected by geosynthetic so this is the improvement of the slope of the soil mass this is the improvement of the soil mass we can use in erosion of unprotected section we can use in failure of geotextile layers we can use in protection of embankment by geotextile we can use as a erosion control so these are the main function of the geotextile and ge nowadays uh, geotextile are essential for uh, different type of the structure and we can get benefit from the geotextile thank you very much